Oh lads, welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode on FIFA 21. My name's our lad. Coming up in today's episode, we will play Chelsea at home in the Premier League. But before that, we have a game against Southampton and we meet Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. Let's see how we get on. So as you can see, the team, Southampton, uh, Premier League action. It's the first team and Van der Beek getting a start instead of Pogba. And the contest begins... Competing for the title, still a way to go, but they're pretty Sancho they really are. Pick they someone out, play. Van der Beek. Take the lead here. Oh, oh blocked. Salisu with the block corner. Comes. Can't oh, get it back it down to a uh, man in the box. Rashford. It's Rashford. Oh, look at yeah. this. What a chance! Oh, Corner Alex Tellers with a chance. And firing it Corner swung in. Well, Opening ten minutes football. has been all United. Bye. Oh, and Sancho with the scissor Sancho kick. With really flabby finishing there. What can they do from here? Genepo. Got a good mark up here, lads. Moving McGinn. Go to him. Right well in. Oh, McGinn gets it back on. A good save. Romero with a start today instead of De Gea. Van der Beek. Here's one Bissaka. Sancho. Back Van into Van der Beek. Here's Great Garcia. chance. There's a man over and it's Rashford. Yes, come on. Marcus Rashford. If you guys missed episode six, go back and watch that. Rashford's been on fire so far this season. Uh, should be in the playlist. Got off to a tremendous start with this career mode. I'm really happy with it. Almost half time, Sancho. <laughs> Tricks his way past Bertrand. Oh! And knocked away. Sancho showing his trickery. Van der Beek. Oh, it opens up. Can McTominay have a dig? Oh, and it's blocked. That's going to be half time. If you guys like this, I've been told from my analytics team that basically half of the people that are subscribed to my channel are watching. So the other half, you need to get in on the action. And subscribe as well. Support me in my adventure. I'm grateful for the 100 subscribers that I do have at the moment. You guys keep watching. I really do appreciate it. Well, hopefully we can get a win today. And here's Van der Beek. Yes, come on. Van der Beek. In today instead of Pog. But this time Sancho returns provider. And that is a wonderful finish. A wonderful finish from the Dutchman. Hits it low and hard. Got to watch Che Adams because he's actually bagged four or five goals himself for Southampton this year. Van der Beek. And now Martial's in. And it's three. Three of the best for Manchester United. And this time Van der Beek turns provider. We love United. We do. We love United. We do. We love United. We do. Oh, United, we love you. As you can see, that's Martial's fifth of the season. So the corner played into the box. Diallo. An attack full of promise. Oh, late shot by McGinn. Five minutes to go. It looks like it's going to be a win as United set themselves up for the Carabao Cup in midweek. And that is full time. We're going to play Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. It's a good start. As you can see, guys, it's the Carabao Cup, so we've got the rotation lineup. But this time round, we're going with Lee Grant in goal. 
he needs a game and you know obviously we don't want to just have him sat there so uh, Grant's in goal I still think we've got enough in our locker to beat Aston Villa here thrown in Fred trying to get the ball but Nakamba holds him off Davis oh it's well played back but good defending from Brandon Williams Stop Trigueros. Greenwood has cleared down this left-hand side. Opening 16 minutes of sparring. Hasn't brought about a goal. The Gallo's picked up a knock. Van der Beek. Van der Beek. Fosu Mensa looking to cut that across. But Villa have managed to get it clear. Davis. Into Al Ghazi. Williams has got to come across and cover his man. Oh, look at this. Davis has got the strength to hold off Rojo. Get to him. What is he doing? And a good stop from Lee Grant. Mings. Oh, he's dilly-dallied on the ball. And Igalo's picked his pocket. Bottom corner. Oh, oh Mata's going to be there. Yes. Juan Mata. And the captain. Juan Mata. Steers in that rebound. Well, as we see this Nyland game, couldn't hold Igalo's low shot. Never been a goalkeeper, but surely he's got to do better than that. His mistake leads to the goal, no doubt about it. Can't give one matter those kind of chances. It's a long ball over the top to Trezeguet. Taylor. Forward. Try and get to half time. Keep this out, guys. To the oh, Williams Vincent does well with his head. Chigueros again. Play. And this time round, Brandon Williams and nice Fred keep him out. That is half time. Hopefully, we can grab another goal and insurance marker in the second half. It's tighter than I would like. Looking for the right moment for that final pass. It's wide. Danny James just about manages to keep that in. Van der Beek, clever, intelligent player. Can't get the ball back from Williams as El Ghazi cuts it out. Villa can't get the ball clear here. Mata, Van der Beek. And he's got James on the overlap. And we've got Igalo in the box. Instead he finds Mata. It's his brace. Mercurial Mata. It's a great finish. Danny James picked him out. There's a lovely little dink into the box. He waited actually for the, the defender to come out, Tyron Mings. And as Mings came out, he just dinked it over him into Mata, who chested it down and slams it past Nyland for two. Now can they make something happen? Davis, wide to Barkley, back into Davis, oh he's done him there, Davis was a chance and he scores, Rojo slides in if he thinks the shot's coming, he's all at sea and Lee Grant exposed, onto his left, Keenan Davis makes it 2-1, good finish actually, James, Cavani, Mohamed Picks out Ihataran. Greenwood turns his marker. Greenwood has a chance. It's a goal. <laughs> I didn't even. I knew as soon as he turned the full back there and he gets into the box. Greenwood's not missing from there. 3 1. The two goal lead restored after just 10 minutes. Got to say, really, other than that first mistake, Nyland's actually played pretty well in goal for them. Cavani holds off his man. Oh, and Nyland saves. Five minutes to go. Looks like we're heading through to the next round. Hopefully you haven't cursed us there. Come on, Mark up. Oh, Rojo's missed. And it's a goal for Ollie Watkins. 3-2. They haven't been good enough today. I think it's too little too late, Derek. Twan Davey couldn't get to him in time. And it's a good finish from Ollie Watkins. 
30 seconds left. Cavani does really well there. On to Hataran. Pushed away by Nyland. Well, he's kept his team in the game. Simple as that. 3 2. Nervy final few moments, but the ball's at the right end at least. Swings this in, and Villa will get this clear. That's got to be full time now, four and a half minutes. Oh, Danny James does really well. Gets to Greenwood in the middle. It's 4 2. Mason Greenwood with his brace. One matter with a brace. And I think the standing guys, I knew we'd have a bit too much for us in our locker against these guys. Even with this being a rotation side, I think definitely had enough too much in our locker for these guys. And we see Aston Villa off. We're through to the next round. That's all that matters. At least Lee Grant got a timing goal. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. It's going well. On to the game against Chelsea. We're just going to take a look at the league table. Ten games in and eight wins for Manchester United. A very good goal difference. We made a fantastic start. Arsenal and Liverpool are close by. We're actually on the same points as Arsenal first and second. And then Spurs and Liverpool are close on 22. Followed closely in fifth place by Newcastle. Uh, they've only lost one in their ten games. So they've made a really positive start. Manchester City and Chelsea not so much. Chelsea have already lost three, and we play them next. Um, i just scroll down here and see what's going on on the bottom. Ooh, not good reading if you're a West Ham or Crystal Palace fan. Uh, without a win in ten games, so sorry, Kurt, if you're watching. Uh, so here we go. We're going to be playing Chelsea. Full-strength team. Pogba's back in the team in that... Um, Box to box roll alongside McTominay. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And on this Halloween, I don't think we're going to be putting the frighteners on anyone given the game that's about to commence. Right, come on, let's do this now. Chelsea, let's give Frank a fourth loss. We've already lost three. We've made a fantastic start. Let's continue it. On to Bailly. Maguire. Scott McTominay. Bruno. Manages to sneak it through to Rashford. He takes it past Paulista. There's the cross. And hooked away. Here's the edge. Pogba wins the ball. Referee. Come on. He won the ball. Jorginho, Ziyech, chipped in, ooooooh, Timo Werner, one of the leading scorers in the Premier League, along with, um, I'm trying to think who the other guy is now, maybe Harry Kane or, name escapes me, it might even be Sadio Mane or someone like that. Pogba to Bruno. Where the hell's Martial gone? Pogba. Sancho. Oh, lovely skill. Oh, yes. Gets by Alonso. Can he find a man in the box? Oh, and Kepa saves it. Struggled in the opening half an hour to get them, to break them down. Won the ball there, though. Did well. Lovely touch from Rashford. Pogba. Pogba sees the pass That's to enough. Sancho who cuts back inside and here's Bruno and here's Martial oh and a good save kicked away from Kepa should have scored we've been on top you have to score when you're on top ball wide Conte puts it out wide and a great chance here it's actually Edin Fischer oh what a finish what a finish that is by Vicia. He just spun away from Harry Maguire. And once he took that ball into the box, well, to be fair, De Gea didn't even die for that. 
ensure you strike it cleanly. He's what a finish that is right in the top corner. A chance to revisit the goal. You'll see it here from this angle. Cuts across the ball. Yeah, De Gea says I'm not diving for that, there's no point. Can they do from here? Almost half time. Rashford, can we get an equaliser? Cuts inside. Looks for Marshall in the middle, but it's a great interception again Chelsea by Paul Easter. He's having a great game at the back. And now Chelsea can break it. Pulisic. Where the hell's Wan Basaka gone? Maguire's not going to catch him. Crossed in and headed away by Bailly. And it's half time. Oh, kind of hit with a sucker punch. The, the goal for Chelsea coming. Against the run of play. So they get the ball Five the minutes before half, the break. Chelsea to build upon a largely positive first half showing. So far, so oh, good Pogba. for Frank Lampard's man. Wan Basaka. Inside. Go on, Sancho, lad. Go on. Oh, that's the equaliser. It's Jaden Sancho. The £145 million pound man. Has done it again for Manchester United. That extra touch to take it away from Thiago Silva. And once he gets into that spot. Maybe Kepa could have done better there. But it hit with some power. That's his fifth league goal for Jadon Sancho. And sends that wide. Almost an hour gone. It's Vizca. Have to watch him now. On the shielding front. Ziyech trying to turn by, but he's not letting him go. Jorginho into Werner. Out comes De Gea. Well played, David. It's offside, or is it? I don't know, you know, I'd give him benefit of the doubt there if that was a United striker. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thiago blocks Pogba there. Now, Chelsea looking to counter. Conte. Oh, giving away. De Gea clears. Headed back by Paulista. Here's Ziyech. Turns away and here's Werner. Looking to try and get through. Oh, well out De Gea again. This time on uh, Ziyech. 15 minutes left. Martial. Can't quite pull it back. There's Sancho, pulls it back on. Conte intercepts from Pogba. Five minutes left. 1-1 one, one wouldn't be a terrible result as when Bissaka heads that away. But I want to win the game. Cavani can't hold it up against Conte and they win it back. Havertz. Come on, lads, focus. Vicha into Kovacic. He's offside. He's offside. He's not offside. Maguire had his hands up. He's won the game. He's not offside. What's Maguire playing at there? Kai Havertz has won the game for Chelsea. We ain't going to come back from this. Too late. Maguire with his arm up. Havertz played until the final whistle. And that is full time. A disappointing 2-1 loss. We'll have to get him again at Stamford Bridge, I guess. So that's... We've lost to Arsenal. Who else did we lose to? We lost to Chelsea just now, but we've lost to... Three top sides now. That's got to be a worry for Pochettino. So, guys, join me. Um, it's going to be Wednesday's episode. It's going to be episode eight. And we've got games coming up against Bashak Shahir in the Champions League and uh, West Ham and Crystal Palace. I want you to, uh, guys to join me for that. That's going to be episode eight on Wednesday at the same time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, continue to support me, and I'll see you guys next time.